Today's video smells like this. Let's talk about it. Hello people, my name is Nixon Dice and you are watching Smelly Cat. Thank you in advance for liking, sharing and subscribing and hitting that bell icon. Now, as a more perceptive of you have probably already realized, today's video is about my experience with Amber Oud Blue Edition. Before moving on, let's quickly have a look at the presentation because it's impressive. Uh, this is the box it comes in and like I mentioned in my previous video, the entire Amber Oud series comes in this and also the Musk series from Al Haramin comes in this box. This part in the center is this dull gold that you get in the bottle as well or bronze. It's bronze or somewhere in between bronze and dull gold uh, and the side is this soft touch plastic. The rest of the box is also soft touch plastic and inside is where the bottle rests in this little coffin here this again is like a soft velvety touch and you have the al haramein logo since 1970 written inside the bottle is clean and classy you have metal in the front with this deep blue beautiful blue color running all throughout the rest of the bottle the cap is again metal, not very heavy, but it has the Al Haramein logo on it and it says Al Haramein since 1970. Here's a look at the sprayer for those interested. This is how it sprays. The notes break down first and then I'll tell you what you can expect from the scent, right? The top notes are lemon, grapefruit, pink pepper and peppermint. The middle notes are ginger, jasmine and vetiver. And the base notes are patchouli, frankincense, sandalwood and cedarwood. Yes, it is the Blue de Chanel DNA. Although, unlike what you may have heard online or in other reviews, or at least to my nose, this is not just another Blue de Chanel clone. I'll explain why in some time. Um, but if there is a comparison to be made, and if you really have to compare, then yes, this would come closest to the EDT version rather than the EDP or the Parfum version of Blue de Chanel. Now, one thing I have to point out is that there's absolutely zero alcohol blast in the opening of this one. You can enjoy this from the get-go, although I get a lot more lemon than grapefruit in the opening of this, whereas Blue de Chanel, as we all know, is about that wonderful grapefruit the grapefruit opening right along with that lemon there is this bright and zingy ginger and here again there's a difference the ginger really pops in this one you know and it feels like it has been amped up in this one at least in the first 30 minutes or so it's very very noticeable and what it does is because because of some sweetness and maybe that pink pepper mixed with the ginger it gives it a very candied ginger-like vibe in the opening. Then it quickly starts to shift into this cooling mint and vetiver combo and what I feel is a soapy, powdery lavender. Again, adding to the cooling effect. Although lavender is not listed as a note in this one. Think of it as almost knocking on the doors of a barbershop-like scent, but not entering the room because if it continued in that direction it would lead into the platinum egoist territory which uh, it does remind me of slightly and even you probably will get hints of like a platinum egoist in it i won't lie the dry down of this one is airy and woody at the same time it's got this very comforting sandalwood in the base another difference i would say with this one is with the incense note it's not very prominent in this one and i think that proves that this one is set, is out to uh, you know is set out to do things a little differently but i have to add that there is a hint of smokiness in this one somewhere once it starts drying on very light if we had to talk about its longevity uh, it gave me around six to say six and a half hours um, after which it turns into a skin scent it's not really an all-day kind of scent which is acceptable and expected from uh, a scent like this the siage is again moderate with the best projection coming in the first one to two hours overall i am very very happy with this one 
uh, I have been reaching out to it quite often even though I've just only got my hands on it and that is mostly because of the quality that quality on this one is top notch did i forget to say that this is exceptional quality and this one goes for a good price especially when there are discounts running online this is a 60 ml i would say if you pick the 100 or 200 ml you know that's real value for money uh, but even the 60 ml ones that are discounts uh, they go for a real good price so if you're looking for a no fuss kind of blue scent uh, dumb reach easy to wear people around you are going to like it um, you know you can wear it to office every day it's it's a casual wear even if you suit up it's not out of place then i would say definitely look into this one like i said not exactly uh, like a blue de chanel alternative or a clone uh, definitely does some things differently like i mentioned in the video making it a little uh, making it making it a little more interesting it's a clean and masculine scent that really you'll find hard to dislike so if you get a chance do give it a try i won't say just go out and buy it give it a try i'm sure you'll like it if you already have it or if you've tried it do let me know in the comments what you think about it. You may disagree with me, you may agree with me, but I'd love to know what you think about this scent. This one is blue edition, not blue um, or blue exclusive. There's something completely all uh, like completely different. There's no Al Haramein written on that one anywhere, which I personally think is not an Al Haramein scent altogether. But that's a topic for another day. Uh, if you're here, like, share subscribe don't forget to hit that bell icon and until next time keep smelling amazing